Welcome back to another episode of Getting Together Garage. Today, we're going to be doing some metal fabrication here. Meaning, make it as thin as we can and, you know, as flush as we can. So we got that. Got some disco nose slim lean going on here with some lights. That. Luckily this time, no, uh, you know, kaboom fuels kind of deal. So we got that. We don't have to worry about it all. But we're going to work on getting some of this more flattened to match the other side because we're just kind of going on a limb and saying mm, it's fancy. Eyeball measure up good enough, you know what I'm saying? So we got that. Get some more body lines figured out here. Something like that. I don't know yet. We're going to wing it as we go with it. And then, uh, you know, we got some wizard wheels that cut stuff off. We're going to be using to, you know, do some geometries that I don't know how to do. For us, I need to use a wood saw on it, don't know yet, and two by four sometimes. But I got that, we're gonna have to get some of that done, and then after I get the metal working all done back here, like we did up front, we're going to strip down the whole bedside and get some epoxy thrown on her so that way she's sealed up, ready to go for some body work. And that'll be pretty much about it for this video is to get things wrapped up and under control, and then after we get everything done, we can go on ahead and start on the body work. And make her about as straight as a typical 2x4 at the lows you see, you know. Yeah, well, get something figured out here, so. Let's just jump into it and see what we can do. But before we do, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and comment, whatever you feel like. Just say, hey, you know, it works. I don't care. Just say, hey. Sometimes it's just talking to a camera makes it a little known, so, you know. I have some combo stations with you guys if you just say hey so okay not talking i guess let's get to work all right so first things first we need to figure out what our plan is going to be and what you can see here is that we got a nice big old ledge right there that if you look at this side and don't mind the noise we have a new piece for the workshop that's going in at least something that we can kind of work on but as you can tell on this side a little bit of a step ledge kind of narrows down to the bottom line back here so we need to try making this side over here look like that somehow so we got to take out quite a bit and the way i'm thinking we're going to have to do this since now this metal here tends to roll in as it gets to this lip so we need to Possibly fold that back out so it's flat like this side, possibly. Or I'm not sure yet. But I need to cut this, I'm thinking, on the seam here. Kind of kind of like a little triangle, maybe, or just kind of push it in to see how close we can get it. I'll try pulling something of this up because there's going to be a lot of mud, possibly, there. I'm not sure yet. But uh, we need to try getting something to flatten out because this is all just kind of too bulked out. So I might need, even need to cut some welds to get something to work. So let me get this drawn up to figure out how I'm going to cut this. And I might even do a quick cut, see how it looks, go from there. Not sure yet. So uh, the only way to do this is trial and error. So if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, you try something else. So let's go and try something else. So I think then with my little angle guy. That. And then we're gonna need a tiniest little bit pretty much. We're just gonna zing her out as best we can a little bit. something like that will work just fine um so the worst thing is worst comes to worst i can always fold this edge down when i push this in and bring this out so that way it fills in the void I and mean, work with that that's what i'm thinking we're gonna have to do and i think it will just work i believe so uh let me go on ahead and get this thing cut real quick and uh, see what we got also for a roll make sure you got your knee saver 3000s you don't need your knees blown out if you're a younger guy. 
at the age of like 20. Yeah, from a young age, like between you know, 10 to whatever age it is, but you need to protect all your knees when you can. Sits out since this is kind of the flattest part. I'm gonna work this out here to do more and more, and then we'll finish rolling up the rest of this. Get it all down and down, and uh, start the sand and hold all the legs out. So, I'm gonna do it on the end to get this done up. And then, we'll get back to our little group of the film. Down the whole bed, bodywork included, that's already in the panel. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do a little time lapse of this, get everything ready, get our down to bare metal, and uh, we'll try to uh, you know, get this thing auctioned tonight. So uh, let's go ahead and just jump into this and get this thing done.
What we gotta do here is now metal prep it since we got everything ground down pretty much ready to go. We're gonna metal prep it with the scuff pad, the gray scuff pad to get kind of etched into the surface of the uh, bare metal. So that way it's ready to go for an epoxy coat and then we're gonna wipe it off and uh, we'll figure out or we'll get some epoxy mixed up when we start spraying this thing. So uh, we're gonna get this prepped up real quick and we'll get some uh, epoxy. Mixed up. So I'm about ready to start mixing some epoxy and I already mixed this before as you guys seen in my other video whenever uh, I did the same process on the other side of the truck. But it's a one to one mixture so you can either go with this scale here that's a one to one to one to one and it just gives you half, it's just a half and half mix. Like you have the same amount of hardener that goes in as the same amount of actual epoxy that you have. So you can do it by this scale here which is one. So you can go up to like maybe six, and you can mix up the hardener to 12, or you can do uh, seven and 14, so that way you still have half and half, or you can do by ounces too, which is the same exact thing, just slightly different. So I'm probably gonna go with the, um, probably six or seven on this mark here, to have the same amount up and through here. That should be enough to do a whole bedside at least the most three times. So let's go and get this mixed up real quick. I'm gonna get me the actual epoxy mix real quick and then I'll show you guys how to boil it. Alright, so we're gonna do 12 or 6 and 12 on this. So we'll mix this up to just about six. Throw a hardener in. Mix it up to That's up to two at the minimum of the most three coats, the minimum two. So, all you gotta do now is just stir it up. Really good. So it's the same exact consistency all the way through. And then we'll be ready to start spraying. Well, the rest of them will be go through this batch.
Side completely stripped down today. Um, all the welds ground down, so everything's ready to go for some Dura glass to fill in these areas. And then uh, I'm gonna work after that, and then to top off the cake, some icing. So uh, today has been a successful day. I've been busy the past few weeks, but I finally just got this under control now. So time for the fun part of doing my work. Um, all you guys can grab to do this at home if you guys really were doing your own project uh, trucks or you can do the easy route and do a rat rod which doesn't involve doing all this which in a way that sounds pretty good to do right now because sometimes you just don't feel like doing this but uh all in all it's not too too bad but uh a little bit of body work it's gonna be the worst on the bottoms a little bit on the top but the epoxy will help us pick out all the heavy dents, which the reflection I can see is on here, a bunch of stuff up through there. So it's going to be pretty easy to pick them out now compared to having flat paint all over the place like how we had it. But this is going to just make things easier. So that's that. We'll get to more of that on the next episode. So uh, yeah, that's about it for us. Though. Uh, thank you guys for sticking around, watch the whole video. And... Um, yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, drop a comment if you guys have any questions about anything I'm doing so far or on anything else. Let me know. Don't be afraid to comment. But um, I think that's going to do it for us today. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you on the next episode. Keep building.